Hey guys, here's the video on how to do a live stream. You guys were asking for it, I'm gonna show it to you. Um, the first thing you need when you live stream is a light. You need a light. So you can, and it has to be like a white, a white light. It can't be yellow, it has to be white. I learned that the hard way. So you can get these lights pretty cheap. You gotta go to like a, a camera place. Here in Orlando, I go to a place called, uh, what's it called, Jason? It's called Hobbies, Orlando Hobbies or something like that. They have lots of camera stuff and yeah. Like this. These are these are the cheap versions. They have more expensive, like professional ones, but you don't need that. You just need this is what they look like inside. Super bright. Okay, the next thing you need for a live stream. Uh, another thing you can do, which is optional, is have a green screen behind you. That way you can do a chroma key effect. I'm gonna be using a program called XSplit. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set it up and how to get the chroma key effect to make it look like you're you're in the game. Mm -hmm. All right, um, right here you can see this is my live stream camera. Uh, you can get any kind of uh, webcam, it'll work. I haven't been able to figure out how to work it with a, an actual camera, I just use the webcams. Now uh, there's, there's certain complications you run into with webcams because a lot of new webcams come out with their own microphone and for some reason they want to take over your computer. It's, it's, a pain in the, it's a pain in the butt, but I think one of the most important things about uh, live streams is the audio. You have to make sure that the audio sounds good. That's why when you're live streaming, you should have someone else in another room or in another computer listening to the live stream and making sure you sound okay. Because um, if you start blowing up people's ears, they won't watch your live stream. Or if you're too low, they'll, they'll hate your live stream. You, you have to make sure that the audio is, is correct. Also, if you want to play music in the background, you have to make sure you have it set so that... Um, anything that that you hear the the live stream can hear also like if you want to play music in the background all right now we're going to get into the program itself it's called xsplit now there's another program out there i'm not sure what the name is i'll put the link right here that's the name these are the names of the programs that you can use to live stream but i'm going to show you today xsplit all right these are the two main websites that i like to live stream on own 3d and we also have uh justin tv which is twitch tv they're both very good services, and uh, they they offer a chat where you can chat with the fans. Like for example, right here I have uh, on my website Swifty uh, Swifty Crib. It's my 24-hour live stream camera. You can see, hey, I'm waving at the camera. Wait, hold on. There's a little bit of delay in live streams. There you go. I'm waving at the camera, and right here I just chat with the fans. So yeah, tw pretty much 24 hours a day. I'm always. I wake up in the middle of the night, I come to the computer, people are like, yeah, they're waiting for me to talk to them. So uh, I answer questions, just chat it up with the fans, it's really cool. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is show XSplit Broadcaster how to set it up. You're going to first need to uh, make an account with Own3D or Justin TV, And then you're going to add the information right here in Edit Channels. I'm going to show you right now my Own3D account. Basically, you can set here the quality. I have it set on seven. The higher the quality, the the more bandwidth you need. Um, I have it set on seven, seven, so I so that I don't lag that much. Um, the vi the bit rate at a thousand and the buffer is two thousand. Audio forty four kilohertz, sixteen bit stereo, ninety six thousand bit rate. That's the settings that I use for own three D. But you can adjust it depending on uh, depending on your internet and if you you have a really fast computer. Okay, now once you have it set, you go to broadcast and you click on this button and it'll start, it'll start live streaming. There's also an option to do local recording. It records an FLV format. That format you can't really edit with it, but you could upload FLV formats straight to YouTube. Now that we're ready to live stream, we need the background image here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. You're going to add a screen region. Now I have two windows open. I'm going to go to the second window over here and what you do is you highlight the areas that you want to show on your screen. Okay. Now, if you look over here on XSplit, it shows up and then you can, you can adjust the size any way you want. You can make it in a small window right now or you can make it in a big window. Now, this is another thing I like to do is I like to add my picture. I, add to, I, I like to add my face. So right now, I'm going to go down here, click add and I'm going to choose a camera. All right. So there's my camera. I added the camera and you can adjust the size of the you can make it big if you want, or you can make it small. And uh, what I like to do is I like to do a, what's called a chroma key effect, and you can set this setting right here. You right-click, color, and there's a little button that says chroma key. That's one of the reasons why I have the green screen behind me. But then you have to like adjust it. 
you adjust it until it uh, there you go and you can make it big small you go oh. I like doing this kind of stuff you can do all kinds of crazy stuff there we go so now you're in the game itself with a green screen it's a cool effect right you can add other windows like for example like if someone's open on another in your Skype conference and you have them on video you could actually take this option right here add a screen region and highlight their face and you could add their face here too you could put as many people as you want now the more the more stuff you put the the laggier it gets but uh, no as a matter of fact I've put lots of people in and it still streams pretty well um, now this recording when you do local recording it records it and uh, but it records it in FLV format which is uh, which is a format that, that that you really can't edit you have to like convert the file but it doesn't take up a lot of memory which is really cool you could possibly you could upload videos directly to YouTube in FLV format but you'd have to do all the editing yourself like in the video itself like you can make intros there's see there's scene selections watch I have different scenes for different things like that like this scene is for example when um, I log out of World of Warcraft and I want to put my password in you I go to this screen because I don't want people seeing my username and password also when I'm gonna check private stuff that's why I put uh, you can put text on the top I said it says super secret screen private stuff and then once I'm doing done doing my private stuff I go to scene selection number two this is the this is the default one that I always use it has my entire desktop because normally I open you know normally I, I play like this you know watch wow it's completely open and I that's this is the way I play so yeah there you go guys an, an easy simple way to do this XSplit to work with XSplit now if you want to add music just make sure that you have uh, hold on. I'll show, show you guys exactly what I do I, I you can you can play music in the background you just have to make sure that the audio settings are correct remember remember I told you guys about the audio uh, let's go here to audio so you guys can so I can show you what I'm talking about the sound if you go to recording you're gonna see see my my webcam has has its own microphone and it wants to me to use it and see how it says hundred percent you don't want it hundred percent you gotta lower lower them for me personally I have to lower the audio like seventy percent and that that sounds that sounds just just about right it can't be too low it can't be too high you can't blow blow up people's ears you'll get very annoyed and, um, and yeah okay so right now what I'm doing is uh, I have two live streams going one is on athenelive.com slash swifty and this is the camera that I use I turn it on I, I don't turn it on all the time but I turn it on mostly when I start gaming and then I usually leave it on and I'm I'm I pretty much live streaming about four or five hours a day maybe longer lately I've been doing it a lot longer over there is a camera this is uh, swiftycrib.com it's a 24-hour live cam. Uh, pretty soon, I'm going to be putting more cameras. We're going to order the cameras. We're going to have a camera in the kitchen, camera in my bedroom. I'm going to have monitors set up so I can see what people are chatting, and I can because sometimes I, right now the, it's it's muted. People can't hear me, but I sometimes I turn on the audio so I could just talk. I read the questions and I just talk it over. Right now, I'm just <laughs> I'm just chatting with them. Uh, filming a video. <laughs> So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how to live stream. This is the basic guide on how to live stream, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.